Cancer, what's poppin', baby? What's going on? It's your boy, Anthony Cancer Mr. Tarot, coming at you guys with your October 2018 love tarot reading, all right? Let's see what's poppin' for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus Cancers. Let's get some good shit rolling up for you motherfuckers, all right? Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. I'm doing fantastic. Listen, man, life is hard. Life is tough, right? Life is hard. Life is tough. We all know this. We all been through that tough times. We all been through our happy times, okay? But it feels like a relief of energy this month. I don't know what it is. It's like, why are we being so hard on ourselves? Why are we, you know, dealing with so much shit? Why don't we just live happy and say, fuck it, man? Sometimes we got to say, fuck it. All right? This is what I'm seeing here, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, September. Nope, I lied to you. October 2018. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, October 2018. All right. Let's see what's popping with y'all. Cancer, mutual energy between you and another person. Ace of Wands. That's what's popping, man. Both are looking towards a new beginning, wanting to find something new in your life, experience something new, okay? If you're in your creative mode, your creative process, you could be starting a business here, creating something here. Whatever it is, you're doing something popping. And that's what I like to see, all right? I'm seeing something popping here. You know what my Ace of Wands is for the month? You see these fat arms right now, Cancer, all right? In the past two months, I gained a lot of weight, and I noticed it. Believe me, y'all probably noticed it too. It is what it is. You know what's going to happen by the end of October? I'm going to be skinny just like I was two months ago. That's my creative process. That's my new birth. That's my new beginning, all right? So start having them new beginnings popping, baby. That's what's up. Now, Cancer, it feels like you're in a period right now where you're ending things that are not serving you. You're ending a bunch of things that do not matter to you anymore, okay? With this Ten of Swords. Can be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Whatever's happening here, you're putting an ending to something that keeps repeating. It's a cycle okay we're tired of cycles we're ending out cycles we're allowing new cycles and new beginnings to enter and come into our life as the other person is as well now whoever you're dealing with here ace of pentacles they have something they want to offer you okay so like i always say the moment you finally are ready to move on finally ready to end something somebody got to come up and make a you know make a proposal so whoever you're connecting with or dealing with here they're coming forward with an offer to you as to the outcome that i'm seeing your page of pentacles you may be accepting this offer here but you're not going to give as much as they do okay so you're letting them come forward to you saying you know what you want to offer me this that's fine but i'm not going to go as hard as i used to you're the one who's going to have to go hard you're the one who's going to have to fight more you're the one who's going to have to show me that you want to be with me all right now, let's take a look at what's going on with their feelings, then we'll go over your feelings, and then where the energies are aligning, and the most possible outcome from step, uh, um, actually, I lied to you, from October 2018, all right? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, let's see what's happening here. Whoever you're dealing with, let's take a look at their feelings, all right? Oh, yeah. Oh, hoo, 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 Cancer. Oh, man, all right. Whoever you're connecting with, they're full of shit. All right, is what I'm telling you here. Whoever you're dealing with here, Cancer, this is a warning, okay? Three of Cups, they want a reunion with you. They want happiness with you. They want this, that, and the third. I don't like the sneaky little Seven of Swords, okay? I'm not liking the way that feels. Whatever's happening here, Ten of Wands, they're still burdened by a situation with you or whatever has happened with you, whatever have you. You have history with this person. You got chemistry with this person, but you have history with this person. They may have been somebody who stabbed you in the back before. What's stopping them from doing it again, Cancer, right? All right. So whatever's happening here, they want to come forward to you with this reconciliation kind of energy. They want to come back into your energy. But what I'm seeing here is, is that they don't have the best intentions with you, okay? Now, page of swords reverse. All I'm going to Sorry about that, Cancer's got a phone call. But all I'm going to say is, is that, look, they may be coming from a genuine space. Let me put it this way. They may be coming from a genuine space where they feel that they want this reconciliation energy with you. But it feels like they're getting into something that they know too little about. Because it feels like it's already going to become too much for them. Whoever you're connecting with, they may not be cheating. They could be cheating or deceptive. But it feels like whatever's happening, you're going to end up back in the same spot or same place with this person you've been in before. Where either they're scared to commit to you, or they're scared about something in the relationship, or they're worn out, drained, and tired, okay? Because what's going to happen is, is you're going to end up right where you were before. They're going to cut the communication, and they're going to dip again and go ghost. All right, Cancer? is what I'm seeing here. So it's like, you almost kind of expect this, it feels. It feels like you almost kind of expect this. That's why you're like, yeah, you know what? You need to put in more work. You got this big offer. You want to come back? Well, I'm going to give you a little while you give me the whole thing. But you kind of expect it already, okay? So try not to get your hopes up in this situation. When they come forward to you, they do want a genuine reconciliation for some. You're dealing with a, for some, you really are dealing with a cheater. You may be having a deceiver, okay? So that's a warning for some. But I think for the majority of you cancers, you're dealing with somebody who's de deceiving themselves, okay? Into believing that, for one, they really do want to get back together with you. But the issue here that is at hand is that it's too much right now. Like, this is not the right time. And this person is going to end up 
disappearing again because whatever this burden is, whatever happened in the past, that shit's going to get brought right back up, Cancer. Whatever happened in the past, that shit's going to get brought right back up. So this person here, they're screwing themselves by getting back in the relationship because then they're going to end up hurting you again and they're going to end up hurting themselves. This connection here needs time. This connection here needs to evolve. This connection here needs healing before there can be any sort of reconciliation, all right? And you're probably like, Aunt, we've had months of healing. It don't matter. There's no time stamp on healing, bro. There's no time stamp on healing, all right? You know, hangman could be dealing with a Pisces, but right now you got to come enlightened to become enlightened to the fact that you guys are at a standstill. You guys are stuck. It's a stalemate. The energies haven't moved along here because the healing hasn't taken place. On both sides, we need to heal, okay? And go through whatever we have to go through. Now, in regards to your feelings, Cancer, let's take a look at what your feelings are for the person you're currently dealing with. Then we'll go over where the energies are aligning and then the outcome, okay? All right, Cancer. Here we go. All right. So... Put it this way, man, you want to take a leap of faith on this person, but you're still heartbroken over them, okay? So whatever's happening, you want a second chance. Like, you're totally down for this reconciliation. You're totally down to be with them again. Just the problem is, is I feel like they're going to do the same exact thing to you. And I don't want you guys to get in another relationship or a past relationship and have this reconciliation and then, you know, have the same outcome that you had previously. Because that's just going to hurt 10 times more, okay? I'm seeing that you're still heartbroken over this person. I'm seeing that you really want a second chance and you really want a new beginning with them doesn't feel like the time is right all right it just doesn't feel like the time is right now where the energies are aligning for october let's take a look at what's happening here between you and the person you're currently dealing with october 2018 where the energies are aligning all right so you're entering a cycle again okay cancer between you and this person the cycle was closed out a while ago that means there was probably a period of time where neither of you were talking it was still a stalemate you guys probably cut each other out or you got cut out whatever whatever happened here right you're re-entering a cycle with this two of pentacles meaning there's still a lot to learn there's still a lot to heal through okay eight of swords you're gonna be overthinking about this person this person's gonna be overthinking about you energies are moving along though so we're moving in a more successful place this is what's good about this now, for some, for most of you, you probably won't have a reconciliation here. I'm just pointing this out. For most of you, you won't. For those that do, it's going to end again. The relationship's going to end again, but it's going to allow more healing. But what I'm seeing here overall between you both is like, you both genuinely want to be with each other, but you're still heartbroken over them and need more love for yourself, Cancer, and they are kind of confused because whatever is still affecting them from the previous relationship that they were in or the previous relationship they're in with you they need to figure that out before they could take the leap of faith with you so you both have shit to figure out before there could be a coming together but i'm seeing it turn successful i'm seeing it come successful okay so i'm seeing a good outcome in the end of this it's just the timing is shit and we hate shitty timing you know i wish everything could be perfect timing but we hate shitty timing and when you think of it time's an illusion It'll happen when it's meant to happen, all right? So there's still some shit we got to go through here. Now, I know you guys are going to fucking hate me, want to burn me at the stake like a witch. I know. I don't want to tell you all this. I want good news, all right? Which this is partially good news because the outcome is we're moving forward. We're going in a positive way, all right? This is going to end good. This is going to end in a victory for you, Cancer, all right? But it's just going to take more time than you necessarily expect. And look, I'm a Cancer. I don't have time for shit, all right? So I feel you. I feel you, all right? Now, for the overall outcome of the month of October, let's take a look at that. Hey, oh, Ooh, that's what's up. One more card. One more card. Oh, boom, Cancer. That's what's up, baby. Nut of Cups to the higher fit. Woo, woo. Overall outcome of the month, love offer coming in and a commitment coming in. Now, for those of you, and a commitment ain't going to be for everyone. Just like I said, a reconciliation isn't going to be for everybody. Most of you here, Cancer, though. The Knight of Cups to the Hierophant is an apology and saying, I'm sorry that I messed up in the past. How do we learn from this to move forward? Okay? So, like I'm saying, I'm not expecting this. There is going to be a reconciliation. I'm not expecting this in October. I'm expecting this in January. Okay? Because it's going to take a lot of time for you guys to heal and get through whatever shit you had to get through. It's going to take a lot of time. I'm calling January. This is when the reconciliation will take place. All right? But the Knight of Cups to the Hierophant is, I'm sorry for what I've done on their side. You're sorry for whatever you've done on your side. The Hierophant, here's what we learned. Here's how we apply it to a future. So when we are together again, 
we can have a genuine loving commitment, okay? And a new beginning with that Ace of Wands. So there's shit to learn here still. The learning process isn't done. And the thing about karmic cycles is that it's shitty because of how long they expand to. It's shitty because of like you know how many cycles we have to go through and you know we are just impatient as human beings we're impatient and it sucks but all of this is for a reason all of this learning is for a reason so that when you guys are actually in a relationship it's not going to be short-lived it's going to be we work through our situations and got to where we had to go okay i'm going to pull a couple oracle cards for you guys and then you guys will be on your merry way for the month of october i'm throwing my cards everywhere that's it keeping it classy anyways all right cancers Let's take a look at what's happening over here, all right? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, October 2018. Any other information we got from my lovely Cancers, please come forward. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, October 2018. Any other information we got for them? Hello. Open up, baby. Open up. Whatever it is you're holding deep inside, like I told you, there's a lot of conversations you're going to have with this person. There's a lot of things to talk about with this person. You're going to have to open up in order to get healed. You got to be vulnerable to get messages out. You got to be vulnerable to heal through shit, okay? That's what I want you to know. Is what they want you to know. So be sure that you're open. You know? Don't be closed off. Be very open. Be very open to communication. Be very open to talking about certain things between you and this other person. You're going to be strengthening your bond with this person. Now, after you have conversations with them, moving through healing and moving forward through things that you have to work through, you're going to be having so much healing. You're going to be strengthening your bond with this person. You're going to be moving forward in a better way. Like I said, Cancer, you are claiming that victory okay cancer that's what's popping man that's what's popping your dreams are gonna come true more than you think it's gonna come true for you you're gonna get everything you want to get the thing is that change your focus so change the focus from harping on the reconciliation because that's gonna happen here with your dreams that are coming true you're gonna get back together with this person but take away the focus of that and change your focus to here's how we fix it so don't jump the gun to we must reconcile now no Here's how we fix it. Everything's a process. It takes steps, okay? So here's how we fix it first, all right? That's what I'm seeing here, Cancers. As well as you got to go with the flow, follow your intuition, listen to your intuition, as well as, look, it's a win or lose situation. And the reason why it's a win or lose situation is because this is on you. Either you do the work or you ignore the work and things never get solved. If things never get solved and you end up reconciling with this person, it's going to go downhill like that again. If things get solved, it ain't going nowhere. It's moving to really good shit. It's moving to really good things. All right, Cancer? Guys, keep in mind, not going to resonate to everybody. If you're not looking towards a reconciliation, then, then this ain't for you. All right? If none of this resonates to you, it's not for you. Please don't spam me in the comments. I don't give a fuck about him. I don't give a fuck about her. That's fine. Not for you. All right? This is for the ones this resonates to. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If it resonates, leave a like and a comment. Definitely subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below. Have a lovely and amazing October. We'll be coming out here with the... Um, mid-monthlies for october and we'll also get the first two weeks as elementals too cancers take care have a good one and i'll catch you guys later peace